Hi, I'm Doug from Hondata here at the 2019 SEMA show and we are here to showcase what we've been doing. Uh, mainly this year we've been working on the FK8 Civic Type R. We've been working on some software upgrades, we've put in place traction control which works very very well for putting your increased power to the ground and the increased power has come from a variety of different ways. One of them has been flex fuel. So we've recoded the engine computer to handle flex fuel. So the computer is able to get quite a bit more power and torque just from tuning for flex fuel. So after the flash pro, flex fuel becomes the biggest bang for the buck for your FK8 Civic Type R. So therefore, the traction control becomes far more useful because with all that extra torque, you've got a lot more wheel spin. But today, uh, what I'd like to show you is what we've been working with actually for the last year and we have released the Civic Type R fuel system upgrade. It's not just a fuel pump upgrade, it's a fuel system. We've got five different components for the fuel upgrade. A low pressure pump, a high pressure pump, a high pressure fuel line, a low pressure fuel line and software and all of these items are necessary to enable us to deliver 25 to 30 percent more fuel and more power. So as a result we're able to provide tuning for turbos that deliver a lot more boost at a lot more degrees of efficiency and we're able to use a lot more ethanol so we can now run up to 50 percent ethanol we can actually run more than that, but 50% is optimal. But with before the fuel system upgrade, the most that we could run was 25% ethanol. So this is the next step in tuning your FK8 and coming up in the future, your FK2 Civic Type R. So it's fully reversible, it's bolt on, it can be returned back to stock, it takes about four hours of your experience or about the entire day to put all the systems in place and running with our flash row software you just install the update click the box which shares modification for the Honda Honda fuel system upgrade and you are good to go Honda's method of traction control I think otherwise is known as vehicle stability assist uses a method of closing the throttle so when the computer detects wheel spin it will command closing the throttle to reduce the torque which it does but it's slow once you close your throttle plate the boost drops and once you regain traction it takes a while for the boost to build back up again Hondata's implemented traction control through software and ignition timing we the Hondata system is monitoring the wheel speeds up to about a hundred times per second and so we can make 100 tuning adjustments of ignition timing per second in order to keep the driven wheel slip at a specific percentage above that of the undriven wheel slip for maximizing traction depending on your tires, your road conditions and many many other different kinds of conditions even cornering on the track. We have cornering compensation for traction control on a corner. It is so much faster than Honda's method of traction control. Honda's been doing a little bit of work with the 2 litre turbo Accord and yeah, it's, it's an exciting engine because it's very very closely related to the Civic Type R engine. The turbocharger on the Accord is designed for low end torque not high end power which makes sense as a family vehicle it hauls a little bit more weight but what we've worked out how to do is take a Civic Type R turbo and bolt it onto an Accord. And when we do that, we're getting very similar power levels to the Civic Type R, power and torque levels. What we've also managed to do is uh, work with companies to develop a Suramoto flex fuel kit for the Accord. So not only do we have a Civic Type R turbo upgrade, but we can run flex fuel on the Accord. Now, one of our test vehicles is a 10-speed Accord. 
with your run flex fuel on that, the torque goes from about 280 pound-feet of torque up to a little bit over 400 pound-feet of torque. Power from about 270, 280 horsepower up to about 325 horsepower. Now this is with the stock catalytic inverter, stock exhaust system, stock airbox. And because you're running it through a 10-speed automatic transmission, it is fast. I haven't taken it to a drag strip, but my stopwatch tells me that it's zero to 60 times are very, very close to that of a Civic Type R. We're looking at the low five second range for that. So maybe I'll get it to a drag strip and actually get some numbers on what a flex fuel Accord can do through the quarter mile. And again, this is an Accord that doesn't have any bolt-ons, just flex fuel and just a flash throw. It is a fun vehicle.